and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you some of the jacks and forklifts that I use here at the warehouse. They're all heisters and we go from a stand-up forklift to a rider to a walk-behind to a manual jack. Um, I don't know how interesting this might be to some of you, but I just wanted to show you. I've shown you a bunch of videos on the truck that I drive and also the straight jobs that I figured. I'd show you the four pieces of machinery we have here at the warehouse, which makes our job easier to get things done every day. So without ado, I'll go through one at a time and uh, we'll show you and I'll explain a little bit about each one. Here we go. Rule number one, never use this as a skateboard. <laughs> this right here works off hydraulics. Right here, this little handle, when you pull up, this drops it down. When you push it down, that locks it in and then that will lift it up. Now, of course, when you have pallet on there that weighs 500 to 1500 pounds you're gonna to have to use both hands to push down but it is as simple as that these are the most common you see these all over the place we have this in case these break down or sometimes I'll have to take this on a truck with me because I might need it at a place where I can't take the walk behind which is the next one here we go number two all right moving right along this is very similar to the one I just showed you. This is our, what we call a walk behind. This is almost the same thing, but right here, we got four sets of batteries that I'll show you in a second. But instead of actually pumping it, there's a button that lifts it up and a button that lifts it down. And it's very simple. You just push it that way to go that way, or you push it this way to go this way. This right here, is a safety stop because if I were backing up, say there was a wall, that thing would hit me and it wouldn't stop going and crushing me to death. It has an on off thing here. Let me turn this around. Those are batteries kind of similar to what you would see in a car. There's actually two up there and two there. I would have to pull that off. But what we do is, this is just a regular plug, a 110 plug that you plug in your house. Here in the States it's 110. I'm not sure what it is over in Europe and stuff, but these are the outlets that go into the wall. And you just plug it in. And it's really that simple. And there's the key just to turn it off so it isn't idling. And there that is. And like I said, right here, it's just up and down. And you turn this or reverse. Simple as that. All right, let's go on to number three. This is very similar to the one I just showed you. But... This has a platform for where you can ride. Show you. So this makes it very convenient going in and out of trucks. You can just stay right on it. This is probably the one I use the most. The controls are the same. Like I just showed you the up and down and the forward and back and the safety. The only thing different is when you're riding, how do you do this? When I'm riding, I'm right-handed. So my left hand's on here and then my right hand is on here controlling it. Now what you also have on this one's a little different is you also have the up and down button. So as you're driving and holding on with this hand, you can lift it up, go down as you're approaching a pallet, and this is the rabbit button. Full speed on this goes about 10 miles an hour. You also have a menu here, settings. It goes one through four for the speed settings, so you can only go so fast. I always keep it at four, and this actually shows you how much battery power is left. And there's the key to turn it off. And there's the key to turn it on. This also has, instead of having the safety uh, thing against the battery box is a lot bigger this is nice I keep wrap here my I also keep clipboard and paper and then I have this to uh, 
identify skids with. The batteries are much bigger in here. And instead of the regular household, we actually use these. And then we just unplug it and plug this into there. Now those have a lot more voltage than the household 110. So this is the rider jack. Like I said, it's just a little bit of a step up from the walk behind because you get the ride on it. All right, let's go to the last one. All right, last but not least, we have our Heister stand-up forklift. Shit in here. The controls are much different on here. And for starters, you see right here and right there, you actually have to have your foot on each one of them. They call them a, a dead man step. Did you hear how it clicked? Because as I was driving, if something were to happen to me, and if I were to fall off, any pressure that comes off either one of those, it shuts off, which is a really nice safety feature. Same thing, there's a key on and off. This has a light, which is right here. Hardly ever use that. And then we have the steering and this. Now this, I'm sure it works. Yeah. So how this works is in a nutshell, pull this way, I'm going backwards. And if I push this way now, I'm going forward. Up is up. Down is down. So you can be going backward and lifting up. That's how you get once you get more comfortable and faster with it. Then also you have, I don't know if I could show you on here, but this tilts the forks down, this tilts them back, and then there's a button here, a trigger I can pull in left or right, and that would shift the forks that way in case I didn't line up properly, I could just move the forks over a little and get it in. This has the very similar to the rider jack, all the controls right there, and then this turns the one wheel. If you never drove one before, this takes a little bit to get used to, but within an hour or so, you really become second nature. And that's pretty much it. Keeping things simple. Uh, that battery box is even bigger than the one than than the uh, than the rider. We pull that off, and then CR three chargers. That charger actually has a bigger connector right there. So, and then you can see here, like I was showing where. Is oh, it's a little dark on this side, but the space between here and here that's for the shifting and for the battery pack. You pick this off, and this is on rollers. So, what we do is we put another jack right here and slide the battery pack halfway out, check the water, and that's about it. All right, everyone. That's my little uh, tour of the forklift, the rider. I already put them away. Over there is the uh, manual. And way over there is the walk behind. So I hope you enjoyed this. I wanted to take a minute or two. I forgot my coffee. Take a minute or two and show you everything here. All my little, uh, all the little forklifts and riders that we use. Hey, if you're still here, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking a minute to uh, watch this video. If you want, share this video. That would help this channel out a lot. If not, hey, thanks for just stopping, in, stopping by anyhow. Appreciate you taking the time to come here and uh, watch this video. So, uh, oh, I hear a truck backing in. So, hey, perfect timing. So, anyhow, thanks everyone. Stay safe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.